It's Friday. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's a, it's a gloomy Friday. I don't quite know what happened to our sunshine. Hello, Miss Dawn. Hello, everybody. Hi, Miss Patty. How was everybody's week? Um, it is finally Friday. That is the exact sentiment, Miss Dawn, right out of my mouth. Finally Friday. I have one more day. One more day. And then I, um, well, not like I'll have Sunday off, but. <laughs> Hi, Miss Kathleen. I hope you're having so much fun. Oh, I'm so excited to see you here. Hello, Miss Kathy, Mary Beth, Miss Linda. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Miss Crystal. Welcome, everybody. Oh, that's where my sunshine is, is at, up in Buffalo, New York with Miss Linda. We had a beautiful day yesterday. Um, today, not so much. <laughs> it's been uh, rainy and the temperature dropped about 30 degrees from yesterday, but that's okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is Friday. We have made it. It has been a retreat hangover week. Um, it is, it's been a week. <laughs> um, hello, Miss Danette and Miss Stacy. Yes, it's, um, it's always, it's always, that's always the way it is after retreat. It's a struggle. It's like all the um, adrenaline is gone and it is, um, <laughs> it's been a struggle. So one more day and we have a few more, I have a few more weeks of craziness and then hopefully things will stabilize themselves. Um, but you never, you never know. We've got to get through um, our big birthday um, and then things will maybe, not, I don't want to say quiet down, not be quite as back to back to back with all this, all the things that are going on. So yes, save the date, April 1st, that's Saturday. Um, uh, a, we are going to party here at Material Girls. We are turning 20 um, and are going to have lots of fun. We have some things to give away, which I'll start teasing and sharing um, what they look like. I promise it won't be an April Fool's. <laughs> it is, it'll be a real thing. Um, see if the volume is turned down or look on the Facebook window and see if the little speaker is X'd off in the video. <laughs> That's right. One more year and then we can celebrate with, uh, with alcohol. <laughs> the cool job. Yes, we're going to have, we're going to have a party and specials and all sorts of things as well. So let's go back here. I got to help, got to help mom. She's, um, she's taking care of our link posting today. Um, uh, Bloody Marys. Yes. But we won't do any rotary cutting or sewing that day when we turn 21. Um, it's not allowed. We can't mix those. Can you find it? Okay, hold on. One second, everybody. That's interesting. Go on one second. We're having technical difficulties. I'm going to get mine turn it on so she knows when to post it. Yeah, may have to watch through the phone okay. and then use that. So yes, so Ready. see, you want margaritas? Okay, we can have margaritas. But yes, yeah, so this, all this here, it's stuff for me to give away to you. So yes, it's the, the echo here. <laughs> that's, uh, that's right, no sharp objects in alcohol. It's not allowed. So yes, we have, I have some fun things that I have collected um, for you. So let's talk about the week. How about it? Um, what came in, what's going on, all that good stuff here so that you can 
get on to celebrating your weekend and I can get ready to prepare for teaching 12 people how to use clear blue tiles tomorrow. So it's exciting. Tomorrow we're going to spend the day learning how to quilt in our embroidering hoop using Kimberbell's clear blue tiles. So that will be an exciting and busy day tomorrow. Couple of things. Let's talk embroidery because that's where it's the first thing on my list. Uh, we received one Spree Club members. If you get physical copies of Spree Club delivered to Material Girls, um, so Gina, Robin, Terry, uh, Joanne, and Gina, and Miss Kathleen, your Spree Clubs are here. Um, for those of you that are on digital, they should um, be showing up in your box shortly. But we also received our auto ship. So we have the four main big collections that are being released this month already in our possession. Okay. And so the only way to get them is here in this store. So I'm going to start with the um, flowering Dresden applique collection. We have a collection similar to this. It's Christmas related um, um, in the past, but they are Dresden plates. They are, think of this, split this Dresden plate into four. Okay, so there are four different, uh, not four, 10 different designs that you can take four of them and put together to create um, Dresden plates. And then we have the, um, Laurel Birch uh, floral appliques that will be um, up there for you as well. I know I didn't grab the link to the video. There is the video up on YouTube's on YouTube on OESD's YouTube page previewing all of this. So this Laurel Birch collection um, works really well with sparkle vinyl and things as well. So. Good old Laurel and her bright colors. Then we have a collection called Peace on Earth by um, Amanda Murphy. There, there is a fabric collection, I believe. I don't know if it's available yet or what it'll be coming that coordinates with this, but I really think it's a beautiful collection even just in general for um, pillows and home deck in that world. So this is Peace on Earth. And then last but not least, this is the big one. We have the Everglow. So the Coordinating Embroidery Design Collection that matches Tula Pink's Evergo, Everglow em Fabric Collection is here. Um, the fabric is coming. It's supposed to be here in April, which is why this is releasing as well, as well as her coordinating thread club, um, threads and things like that. But you can see um, a couple of the designs. Every, there are um, 18 designs. Well, there's really nine designs and I think each design comes in two colorways. Um, so depending upon which colorway you're going with the world of Everglow. Um, that's there but that lion is gorgeous and I'm loving this hippo that's half above water and half below water so that fabric collection will be here very shortly um, I know it's partially here I'd hoped it would bake it here today but the early release my early release fat quarter bundle will be here next week so we will have physical fabric for you to see and touch and feel while we wait for the rest of everything to arrive um, for that. So I gotta get a pen, hold on one second. So that is what's up and coming in April. So again, these are early release. The only place to get these are the few copies that I currently have now. They will be releasing digitally sometime throughout the month of April up on um, OESD's website, okay? Now, we have two new little patterns that arrived this week. So first up is called Jelly Twist. Okay, there, it got moved. I had to look for it, <laughs> it got moved. Um, so Jelly Twist here, 
from Cluck Cluck So, um, based off of a jelly roll. And the pattern is written in four sizes. So you have large, throw, twin, queen, and king. Um, it's also not just strictly jelly roll. It also gives you using fat quarters as well as quarter yards. So um, that is there. We are, Maria is currently stitching a stamp stitching a sample of it up um, using the Stomp Stomp Roar collection. Okay, so we're using the, the boy dinosaur or gender neutral dinosaur um, collection. And what I'm excited to see is that we're not using white as a background. We always have a tendency to put white in the background. Um, we are going with a different color. So you, hopefully you'll be able to see that next week. So exciting. Hello, Miss Kathy in Texas. I'm so happy that you got to join us for retreat. I think everybody had a great time. Then the other new design that arrived, uh, the new pattern that arrived this week is monorail. Okay, monorail is the newest design from Atkinson Design. What's great is that this pattern is not only for a table runner, but has options for baby lap twin and queen size quilts. So you can also make a quilt with this pattern. So um, using fat quarters, we will be teaching a class in April on this um, table runner or quilt. You can have your choice as to which one you would like to make um, as well. So those are that. And while I'm standing here, I have a, Miss Linda finished her quilt and it's, it's sitting here for me to, to get to long arm for her. But she did make it a little bigger, but I thought I would show you Ellie's elephant. Um, I don't know if you can see, she made it bigger, but there's, there's the elephant at the bottom of that little guy. Um, so this is done with a flannel layer cake. Let me walk up here. We do have a, some left, a few kits remaining um, of Ellie's elephant, Ellie's pinwheels, as it's called. We have a couple of kits remaining for Ellie's pinwheels. We also have a few patterns as well as layer cakes. And then we also have jelly rolls that we have this sample made up in using the jelly roll, um, all done in flannel. So here's a giant size of my head flannel jelly roll. <laughs> Don't be afraid of flannel. Uh, flannel's not hard to sew with. We do recommend um, starching or pressing with starch or pre lightly starching um, your fabric with flannel because it is a little more, I don't want to say flimsy. It likes to wiggle a little bit, but for those of you that have machines with dual feed or even if you have a walking foot, you may find that help it helpful, but a little bit of the magic sizing as you are pressing seams will help greatly in helping you not be quite so terrified of using flannel. Um, so just so you can see this, this is our, <laughs> uh, yes. So a couple other things here. Okay, that was a little off the, off the list that I had, but I have, um, Ms. Crystal, I will get to that, promise. I will get to that, make a note right now, and I'll talk about it. Up for pre-order is Shout Hooray. I don't have it here to show you um, because the box did not arrive today like it was supposed to, and my Shout Hooray is still packed in the suitcase where all of my retreat stuff is. So, <laughs> Uh, retreat, my retreat stuff is still packed away. I never even came out. I don't know why I take stuff to retreat because I know better to know that I am not going to be 
able to sit down and sew as I wander around and hang out and chat and prepare, make sure everything's running and working good and then everybody's happy. And I will, um, I didn't grab it, but Shout Hooray is the newest bench pillow that's coming from Kimberbell. Um, what's really unique about it, it has a section of the pillow that is a Velcro. And you can make interchangeable signs. So it's not just for birthdays. It could be happy retirement. It could be so-and-so's fifth birthday. You get with it, you get all of the embroidery designs to create all the individual letter tiles, number tiles. There's some pre-done words and everything that are in it. So that will be showing up here in the store by next week. There is a fabric kit, a design collection, and a um, embellishment kit. And I'll be putting a post together because there's also a um, embroidery, uh, not embroidery design, a quilting collection that coordinates with it as well. If you like to do the Kimberbell quilting in the hoop, um, that will be um, an option as well that we purchased directly from, that you purchased directly through Kimberbell through our link. So I will, once that, all that is in my hands and in my possession, probably by the end of next week, we'll have it all here. Um, kits will probably here Monday or Tuesday. Design collections and embellishment kits just left Kimberbell yesterday. So it usually takes about a week from Utah um, to get here. So hopefully right in time. Yes, so the there is a zipper in that bench pillow in the backing of that bench pillow to create a pocket to hold all of your um, words and letters. So um, there is a whole way to keep it all stored together. Hello, Miss Beth, Miss Beth Fiddler. Your mama's spree club is here <laughs> um, and your fabric. So I just thought I would, in case you didn't see that at the beginning, spree club, but spree club is here for for you um, whenever you are in this area again. Now, I have Kimberbell Cuties. So let's talk about Cuties for a second. The Cuties Volume 1, no, excuse me, Cuties Volume 2, this book, January through June. We are currently in the process of um, uh, re-kitting the first six months. We already have January, February, and March finished, okay? So January, February, and March are up online, ready for you. Hopefully by the end of next week, we will have April, May, and June complete, okay? Once we have April, May, and June complete, we will start, we're already starting to work on the next six months. Uh, that information came out just recently. You'll start to probably start to see some things, but we will be kidding um, July through December. Um, hopefully in time for when the book releases in the month of June. So just so you know, we will be doing that. Uh, Spoonful of Sunshine is the next Kimberbell event that we will be doing both in the store and virtually. So you'll be seeing information about Spoonful of Sunshine event uh, coming out in the next newsletter, which is hopefully in your inboxes at the beginning of next week. I have a special place in my heart before we talk about Bernina. I have a special place in my heart for my left-handers, okay? And my, mostly because I know it's a challenge to live in a world where everything's associated with a right-hander. I can't imagine um, sewing. Feel, I know sewing feels backwards, everything, because everything is created to the right. But somebody has finally created us a collection of scissors, especially for my machine embroiderers that are left-handed. Okay? So we have now here for you as left-handers. So my right-handers... Sorry, you, once in your life, you have to be jealous of a left-hander, okay? You have all of these scissors in other things and other ways, but my left-handers, we have a beautiful collection 
of blue scissors for you. So we have, and these are true left-handed scissors. So we have a six inch razor fabric shear. And this is also great for not only adults, but if you have a left-handed junior sewer, a six inch shear is much easier for them to handle than like a massive ginger um, eight inch shear. We have a four inch micro tip. So itty bitty tiny tip with the ring um, scissors. So lots of space. I have a four inch mini duckbill applique scissor. Look at that little tiny duckbill and designed for a left-hander. I have a four inch miniature double curve embroidery applique scissor. Okay. And now, now for my embroideries that have been around for a while, do you remember we had our pickle pie embroidery scissors, the ones with the pink handles? Okay meant for a right-hander. I mean, a left-hander could use it, but it didn't work quite as well. But we now have an identical pair of those scissors for my left-handers. I'm so excited. So they are, if I can show you, they're kind of curved not only once at the handle, but the tip also curves up as well. So those are, my pickle pie scissors are a fan favorite. Um, for for me, I like to use them. And then now we have a set for my left-handers. So our left-handed scissor collection is finally here. Very excited. And so now we've got left-handers, you're moving up in the world. In 2023, we got left-handed creative grids rulers. We got left-handed scissors. We're getting there. We're catching up to you. All right. We have a couple of things in the world of Bernina. Don't forget, this month, our promotion this month is 20% off press for feet. That is sewing and overlocker and burnet. So all the feet are 20% off. They can be ordered online as well as in store. I just got a huge shipment of press for feet in. So if it's showing up out of stock online, um, probably give me through Monday and I'll get them back or send us a text message or call us and we'll get you taken care of and get you on the list. So as soon as it comes out of the box, you can have it. And then for my Bernina Cumatic owners, Cumatic 3.0 is out and ready for you to download and install on your Cumatics. So <clears throat> it is not difficult to do. There is a post that I put up earlier this week with all the information. There is an installation guide that if you follow, you won't have any problem. It's going to not only update your Qmatic, but it's also going to update your firmware for your machine. So you wanna make sure that you do it because one, it's gonna make your Qmatic faster. Has a few other things and a few new features on it um, for making realigning the safe zone and a couple of other things easier. It's gonna give you 75 new designs as well for your Qmatic. So now's the time to update your Q-Series um, Qmatic computerized quilting for those, uh, those of my owners that have it. Um, yes, it will, it's there and ready for you, okay? Also remember that the machines this month are 20% off. Doesn't include the CAFEs, but I have special pricing for them um, as well. But all the other machines are 20% off. That one right there, one left. One left. And if you're interested or falling in love with that CAFE 770, do. We only have a few more. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> so yes, we have a few more days left in the month of March for, um, for that. Now, the month of April is serger month. So for my gals that have sergers, you've been waiting for classes or waiting for lessons to learn how to use them. April is going to be your month, okay? going to have lots of, uh, not lots of, there will be classes, mastery classes, there will be lessons and all sorts of that, that 
you need to make sure that you take time for, okay? Um, there was a question about virtual breakfast club and am I coming back to it? Yes, eventually we're getting there. We are in the process. Let me go. Let me, let me just walk over here. Um, let me walk over here. Part of, part of the retreat hangover is I have a lot of things that are going on at one time. Okay. And it's, it's getting a little crazy. So here, this is my, you all, we all talk about closets of shame, right? Like that episode of Friends with Monica and her closet. Well, this, <laughs> this back room, okay? This back room is like my closet of shame and gives me a lot of anxiety over it because this used to be a secondary classroom. And then, you know, COVID hit and then this became Recording Central and everything. So currently, this is the recording studio. It's a nightmare. Um, and the reason for that is Material Girls is expanding, okay? But not retail space. <laughs> Don't get excited. Um, I'm actually adding a recording. I'm taking my recording offsite. Um, so that I have quiet, um, that type of thing. And it was, um, yes, it's, I'm going to have a recording studio. We're just going to call it Material Girls MGTV instead of MGQB. <laughs> I have a professional studio that is in the works. Um, hopefully next week we have, uh, the ball is rolling again in getting that set up. So as soon as I have um, my everything set in place, a uh, virtual breakfast club will come back um, for that. So we are, yeah, we decided that we like to do things at every 10 years. Because if you've been around for a while with us, um, we are, um, we started out here in 2002. Well, we opened in 2003. We were actually a mile down the road over by Lito's Pizza here in, um, in La Plata on the other side of the road. Little store, outgrew it, came here, okay? On our 10th birthday, um, we added this. We added the Bernina room and my closet of shame. Yes, dad's excited that I'm moving out because that means that he can service and not, I don't go, he doesn't have to be quiet um, on uh, Saturday mornings <laughs> when I did breakfast club. So it, it, we added this at year 10. So now at year 20, I'm adding more space elsewhere. It's close by, but it gives me the opportunity to be able to, um, go over and do some recording because my virtual, my hope and my plan is virtual classes will become something that you can just purchase and do on your time and at your convenience versus it being at a specific night and time. Um, that way for all my gals that maybe don't live in this time zone, um, you're not, you know, at two o'clock in the afternoon trying to t take a class or have to wait for the recording for that class. So, that's the ultimate goal of MGTV, is to um, be able to do all of that for you. And in order to do that, I needed to get a real sound quiet studio um, and real cameras and Zoom and all sorts of things. I'm gonna have to have a lesson in how to learn all of this stuff. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna need to like hire a, somebody that's an audio visual engineer <laughs> that needs a job to, uh, to uh, work all of the equipment while I record. Correct, exactly, Miss Susan, for all of you that live not in our back door and that have crazy hours at work, um, I'm hoping to be able to let you still partake in class but not have to um, miss out. Is, is the hope and then virtual breakfast club will come back and all of that and I'll have room because right now oh my god that room is a mess and then we brought back retreat from it all and just dumped retreat in there 
<laughs> oh. oh, yes, I, <laughs> you're too funny. But yes, yeah, so that that is the plan for Virtual Breakfast Club. It will be back. It may be just a little longer while I work things out because I've had a few other kinks thrown in my uh, plans that I didn't plan to have to deal with in 2023. Um, so I have a little a few things to handle, but it will be back. Virtual Breakfast Club will be back um, shortly. Hello, Miss Laura. Yes. So anyway, that's that's enough. We'll talk. We'll talk more next week when it's our actual birthday weekend um, about everything that's going on and, and maybe if I can get the studio somewhat set. I'll take you on a tour next Friday. Um, but yes. Well, I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Uh, we are here tomorrow, 930 to 3. If you need anything, you can always shop online 24 seven. Um, and I hope that again, you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, I didn't say hello to my little people. Hold on a second. Don't go anywhere. We got to say hi. I forgot to flip the page over. So Miss Amy's going to go through it really fast. Are you ready? Grady, Layton, Violet, Spencer. Mimi says hi. I have Mary Catherine. I now have a John Robert. Yes. Brand new John Robert. Emma, Abby, Ian, Owen, and Luke. I have Daniel, Mr. Austin. I have Sammy, Alexander. I have Ryder, Cecilia, um, Sage, Miss Leah, Miss McKenzie, Miss Alyssa, Miss Aubrey, Mr. Camden. Miss Amy says hi. Yes, yes. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I am teaching virtually on Thursday. I'm actually teaching virtually Wednesday as well. So we're, I'm gonna, I taught this week virtually in that area. And so I will put back the studio <laughs> somewhat back to where it is to be able to teach virtually again. We'll get through it. Um, again, timelines did not line up the way that I had anticipated them to. So we will overcome. Yes, today was backpacks. We did making backpacks today. So much fun. Great backpack class. I had um, a handful of backpacks. Yeah, I <laughs> software is next week as well. <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah did not plan. Did not plan. But I don't know how to, like Gina says, I don't know how to do things without pressure. And so it, it, um, it makes me work harder if I have, you know, adversity to all of it. But yeah, it, we had a cute, I'll post uh, in a little bit. I have a Miss Nancy finished uh, her backpack for Miss Molly uh, for her trip. It's really cute, easy bag, great, fabulous pattern. Um, wonderful if you're not into wanting quilting and all of that stuff. Although Miss Georgie did hers and she quilted it and she used one of her me time blocks as the front pocket. Um, I have a picture of that too, so I'll post that. That was really a great I had the gr a great idea. It actually it's beautiful. So you, she used G Gilmore Girls coffee cups and that really pretty orange and purple um, block that she pieced from me time. Well, anyway, you guys go. Yes, Miss Joanne, you have been switched. You've been switched to the virtual class. I took care of that, and I'll make sure that um, everything gets sent over for your links for that as well. But you guys go have a great weekend. Maybe take a little time, get some sewing done, or for those of you that were on retreat with us, maybe you'll get a little time to unpack um, and put the sewing room back together. And I will see you all back here very soon. Thanks everybody.